welcome to our YouTube channel. Nice to meet you. I am proud you, especially the frequent viewers, the subscribers. Thank you very much. We are much, much, much humbled for your subscription. Consider sharing to your friends and family, especially those who are intending to join farming. If you are new, please consider subscribing and you make sure that you click that notification bell. We shall be updating you about a number of issues concerning farming and agriculture in general. Today we are going to talk about how can we maximize our profits, how can we maximize our profits through minimizing our expenses without compromising the quality and the quantity of the feeds that we give to our birds. How can you maximize profits at your farm either if you are rearing chicken or you are keeping pigs? There are a number of ways through which you can maximize profits at your farm. You have to make sure that everything that you do at your farm is in the right qualities and the right quantities. Once you get that right, then you will be able to maximize the profits. The best alternative for you to maximize your profits is by reducing the amount of money that you inject into the project. But you have to balance. You have to be as much economical as possible. However, you also have to ensure that you don't compromise with quality and quantity. You don't have to compromise the quality and the quantity of everything that you do at your farm. The most outstanding item that consumes a lot of money from you is the animal feeds or the feeds for the birds. For instance, if you're keeping chicken or piggery, the feeds constitutes the biggest percentage. But how can you reduce the cost of feeds at your farm? There are a number of ways, but the most outstanding factor that can help you to reduce cost of food at your farm is to ensure that you buy the feeds in bulk. You buy the feeds in bulk. This is a secret to small-scale farmers and when I talk of small-scale farmers I mean someone if your turnover is less than 150 million Ugandan shillings you are considered to be a small-scale farmer in my own perspective so this is a secret for you you have to ensure that you buy the feeds in bulk so that if the prices are hiked you will be already covered and you will be already saving money to maximize your profits at the end. This can only be done at a time when it is harvesting season. Take for instance, in Uganda now it's January coming to February and last season you had relatively good season when it comes to maize and gradually maize prices have been reducing from 2100 Ugandan shillings to as I speak now in some areas it's about 700 shillings you can get a kilo at that amount that means you can stock as much maize as possible to take you through your project journey this is the perfect time for you to go and stock some good maize that will take you through the period of keeping your chicken or keeping your pigs. If I told you you are a pig farmer, why am I putting too much emphasis onto maize? It's just because maize constitutes a biggest percentage when you're formulating feeds for chicken and for piggery. Health poultry requires sufficient amount of proteins and carbohydrates along with the necessary vitamins and minerals with adequate water supply. But maize and maize brand or chachu, just how we call it in Uganda, 
provide us with the biggest percentage of the food requirements that we need. I will not put too much emphasis on the other food requirements, for example, proteins, vitamins, uh, minerals, because we have new innovations and we have companies that are putting together all those requirements within one concentrate and you only need to look for maize or maize brand to ensure that you formulate the feeds for your animals or your birds. But you have to ensure that the feeds must remain clean and dry. Don't allow your feeds to get contaminated or infected. What you can do right now, get some money, visit farmers, buy maize and keep it at your farm. There are new innovations. You may say, I don't have a well-organized silos to keep the maize or the maize brand for a long period of time. There are new innovations that can help you to ensure that you keep your feeds clean and without being contaminated. For example, you can go and buy the silo bags. If you are in Uganda, you can visit the container village. You ask for those silo bags. Those silo bags that can keep your food for a long period of time before you give it to your birds. When you buy the feeds, first and foremost, you have to let it first dry. Dry it properly. You have to make sure that it doesn't have moisture. Then you put it into those silo bags and keep it. At our farm, we are lucky that we can at least grow some maize. And here we are, we are harvesting maize. And we sell some and then we keep some for our poultry, for our chicken and our pigs. Sometimes if it is rainy season and we don't want this maize to get spoiled after harvesting and has some some bit of moisture we just keep it like that consider sharing to your friends and family especially those who are interested in farming but before we end our video let me first show you a little bit of the progress of our croyera chicken how they perform right now we have completed the ninth week and that's how they look like this is the ninth week yes briefly about the agricultural commodity prices maize this week in uganda has been at 1100 shillings then maize flour is around 2000 shillings then maize bread is at 300 that means at 30,000 you can get a sack a full sack of maize bran that is chachu yellow corn or popcorn a kilo is between 2000 and 2500 a sack of passion fruits is between 350000 shillings 350 and 400000 shillings then coffee beans locally known as kase is between 6300 and then 6500 a box of ugandan tomatoes is between 350 thousand shillings and then four hundred thousand shillings then sweet potatoes a bag is at two hundred and twenty thousand shillings green pepper a bag is at one hundred and seventy thousand shillings and then lastly ginger a kilo is one thousand eight hundred to two thousand five hundred a kilo of ginger so thank you very much we are so much so much humbled for your attention if you are new please you can consider subscribing to our channel so that it can grow and grow in numbers it will give us much encouragement to continue searching for information and updating ourselves until we meet again in our next video next week we love you all god bless you bye